when we're talking about flow, uh, most of us don't understand that any emotion you hold on to grows in power and uh, and in size, right? So for the first 28 years of my life, I held anger in. There were lots of reasons for doing it, but I held it in. It wasn't safe to let it out. Turns out I learned it's not safe to keep it in either, but, uh, but then something occurred in my life and the anger started uh, just spilling everywhere. Now you talk about hours. It took me two years to empty all the anger that was in me out. Um, and you know what, what we're doing, if, if you think about anger as energy, then you know if you have electric energy or water energy, if you put a blockage into the circuit to where it's flowing, it, it creates resistance. And with electricity, it heats things up, it can cause explosions, all kinds of things. Same thing with anger for us. You know, like people, um, they, they say, uh, I've been a psychotherapist for 50 years. I've worked with an awful lot of people who are angry and they go, well, I, you know, I try really hard not to be angry, but, and every once in a while I blow up and, and then I can get it under control for a while and be darned if I don't blow up again. And I don't understand why it works. And I say to them, listen, the idea that you have to not acknowledge it, to not let it move, that's what's causing it to explode and explode and explode. What you need to do is let it happen. So back to your question then, how do you let it happen? Well, what, what I slowly understood, what I, I learned is that the message, every emotion has a message. The message of anger is that I have an idea about how things are suppo supposed to be in the world. Either they should be some way and they're not, or they should not be some way and they are. I call these shoulds, right? And uh, anytime my shoulds get violated, I'll feel angry, right? Now, when I went a step further with that, oh, and the other message of anger, first of all, the first message is to point out that you have these shoulds and these ideas of how things are supposed to be. And it makes total common sense that if you were correct in your idea, nobody would ever violate it. So what is the anger really trying to tell us? That we have an idea about how the world works that's mistaken. We're not correct about it. And the universe is pushing us to make corrections. How about you make a change here? 